Kid, what do you think you're doing? Hey, kid, come back here. Hey! Are we going home? Yes, Mom. I'm taking you home. I want to go home. I know, Mom. We'll be there soon. I don't want to go back to that old age home. Wait to die. I want to go home. Is Henry going to call? Henry isn't here anymore, Mom. Where did he go? Well, I'm just gonna keep calling him. Are we going home? Hello? Hey, Dad? Testing. Is anyone there? Rusty, by the way. That's Buddy. We haven't officially met. Shouldn't you be in school? I'll take that for a no. All those parts and pieces. Remember that thing, aren't they? You come back yet? 
guess not. Why are you still dragging that piece of junk around? <laughs> whoa, whoa, little hen. Huh? Don't worry. I, I just want to look at it. I won't break it. I promise. Cross my heart. It's a complicated piece of machinery, isn't it? Daddy give you this before he shipped off? Didn't call, has he? Don't worry, I'm sure he didn't forget about you. I hear the signal's pretty bad in Afghanistan. was a decent guy, and I was willing to let it slide the first few times. But then every day, you do realize that everything you steal is a zero off my retirement fund, right? Right, Hen? What did I tell you about stealing my stuff? And how many times do I have to tell you to stay out of my junkyard? Huh? Klepto? I hate this as much as you do, kid, but if I so much as see your shadow at my front gate, I'm gonna call the cops. Don't you ever set foot on my dirt again. I don't hate you, little hen, but you gotta quit sticking your beak where it doesn't belong. Now keep this. I think it's mine anyway. Hey, Dad. Listen, I know you're probably pretty busy, but where are you? Because I, I could really use your smile right now. Dad? Dad, are you there? Dad? Dad, can you hear me? Dad? What, is your name Henry? Yeah, yeah. Well, my husband's name is Henry. Oh. Uh, sorry, I thought you were someone else. Okay. Yeah, I I was just looking for someone. Your dad? You know, I was looking for someone too. My husband. Where's he? I'm not sure. I haven't heard from him in a while. And you? Well, my dad's in Afghanistan. You know, so I haven't really, haven't really heard back from him either. Well, it sounds like you and I are in the same boat, kid. Hey, my name's Rose, by the way. What about you? Henry. My husband's name was Henry. Oh, boy, I miss him. But life isn't all Skittles and rainbows. You know what always makes me feel better? What? Jokes. You want to hear one? Yes, so. All right. There's this guy, and every night after work, he goes to the bar. He always orders three drinks. And one night, the bartender asks the man, how come you always come in here and order three beers? And the man replies and says, I, I have two brothers in the army, so I always order three drinks. One night, the man comes in. 
and he only orders two drinks. The bartender is distraught, and after a bit, he goes over to the man and says, I'm really sorry for your loss. The man looks up and says, Oh, my brothers are fine. I just quit drinking. <laughs> Wait, I think I messed that up. Let me start again. He gets three beers all at the same time. And it was the brother who quits drinking. Yeah, because I... he still has the two beers for himself. Because his brothers are fine. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm bad with jokes. No, no, I thought it was a good one. You always could land a joke. I was never any good. Anyway, that's one of my favorites. But I wish I had someone too, you know? Like you had Henry. You don't have anyone? I'm alone. Well, you've always got me. I'm not going anywhere, especially if our daughter has anything to say about it. Hey, how, how do you do it? How do you do it, you know? Do what? Stay so happy. That's not an easy thing to do, kiddo. Was there any secret? Well, I find something I love, or someone I love, and I never let them go. Have I mentioned my husband? He is the love of my life. Uh, no. Uh, what was, what was his, what was his name again? Yes, Alzheimer's. No, I didn't tell her. I don't know, worse than stage two? Addie, I am being serious, okay? There's just nothing we can do but medicate at this point. Did I tell you she's been talking to Dad? Yeah, over their old ham radio. She's convinced herself he's actually responding. Oh, I was supposed to have two. Sorry? Uh, hold on, Addie. I was supposed to pick up two bottles of Mementines. We're doubling down on her dosage. Do you have the prescription slip? Yeah, just give me a second. All right, Addie, sorry about that. What? Yeah, a couple times a week. Why, do you think I should be going more? Well, I try, but it's hard for me to go. I don't like seeing her in that environment. Sometimes I think it would be easier if she was home, yeah. Oh, did she call you about it? Yeah, she doesn't let me forget. Look, I know, I know. I just think she's where she needs to be right now. God knows I can't take care of her. And I don't think you should come all the way down here from Tulsa with a new grandchild to help me move her back into the house. I'm all right, I guess. I don't know, only like five, but I'm fine. Addie, I'm fine, all right? Yes, I promise. What? Eileen usually cuts my medication. Don't worry, Mom. She gave me special permission today. I've been talking to Henry. Oh, really? H have I already told you that? No, you never mentioned it. Yeah, we try and talk at least once a day. Well, he misses you. Well, that's nice of him. Here. You know, I can't take these horse pills. They're gonna get stuck in my throat. Well, I cut them up this time. Here, water. You know, there are people downstairs playing bridge. You love bridge? You should join them. 
I can't. I promised Henry I'd give him a call. Okay, well, maybe after? They look like a lot of fun. I'm sure they are. Everyone around here has one foot in the grave. <laughs> hey, I'll be all right. Well, you know, I think it'll be good for you to get out of this room. Socialize a little bit. Hey, that's why I have you. Mom, I can't be here all the time. I'm just worried you're gonna get lonely. Honey, don't you worry about me. I'm fine. Besides, you should be out looking for a new husband, not looking after your old mom. Mom. Hmm? Nothing. I'm worried about her. Who, Eileen? She just isn't the same person anymore. Not after the divorce. She's depressed. I've tried to help her, but she won't listen to me anymore. Yeah, but how come? It's getting old. It's supposedly a blessing. <laughs> you have all this time and experience to give to those you love, but one white hair and they're feeding you jello through a straw. <laughs> then they lock you away in a home to bridge the rest of your life anyway. Hey, hey, Rose. Remember when you said I could ask you anything? Yeah, anything, right? Of course. What's on your mind? Well, there is this guy. You know, he gives me a, a hard time sometimes. And I don't really know what to do about it. People like that tend to use violence to help feel better about themselves. Don't let them make you feel bad because you're unique. Well, <laughs> I'm really unique so let me tell you something kid i'm 73 years old and if there's one thing i've learned it's that everyone's a freak a <laughs> little weird a little unique just some people are better at keeping it a secret i'm weird henry is very weird <laughs> yeah but what should i do you know what should i do then Henry was 15. There was this little boy in his class. He always used to bully Henry, pushing him around, pinning him, and taking his money and lunch and shoes even. One day, this kid pours glue all in Henry's hair, and the stuff just wouldn't come out. So that night, Henry's dad buzz cut his head. His father looks him in the eye and says, kid, you gotta learn to stand up for yourself. If not, the behavior's only gonna get worse. So that night, Henry's dad takes him to the garage and teaches him how to fight. And the next day, just like every day, this kid comes up to Henry. But this time, Henry socked that macho kid right in the <laughs> nose. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's just funny. Why? Well, you know, I can never say that to Rusty. Well, hold your horses, kiddo. Guess what happened at school the next day? That macho kid broke Henry's arm. I guess that's the thing about revenge. No one ever truly wins. Sometimes, when someone kicks you in the teeth, you just have to turn around and smother them in kisses. Trust me. It hurts much worse than you could ever imagine. I don't know why I'm trying to quick. Give me another one. <sighs> Sounds good. It was an idea. Thank you. You need a light? Yeah. Okay. You want to chew on it?
Rusty. Mm. What? Oh, look who's back. Kid's got a real death wish, doesn't he? Come on. Last time things got a little out of hand. But you keep coming around here, you're gonna get what's coming to you, understand? Pretty sure these are yours. Thank you. No problem. Hey, do you mind if I take this home with me? Pretty sure it's mine anyway. Thank you. Junk off. Yeah. Rose! Rose, guess what? I did it. Rose. 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 Rose, you there? Rose. 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 you not to come. Are you kidding me? It's just, it's so far from Oklahoma. I could have handled it. Mom would want both of us here. So don't you worry about me. How many hours of sleep did you get last night? Patty? I never told her about the disease. I didn't tell her. Oh, Eileen. Eileen, she was happy. You made the right choice. Are you sleeping at all? No. Hi. Sorry to rush you. Oh, um, it's okay. Well, the headstone is in, and the body is at the morgue. 87 roses and 20 bouquets of hydrangeas, just like you ordered. And we can still do the viewing today and the funeral tomorrow. We don't want to draw it out too long. Yeah, Mom wouldn't want wanted that. Okay. Well, the body should be here within the hour, and everything else is prepared and ready to go. Your mother was an amazing woman. Just let me know if there's anything else you need. Thank you. Can I help you? 
Yeah, do you know Rose? Does she live here? Uh... She did. Well, can I see her? It's a little late for that. Does your family know where you are? Your parents? No. I'm sorry. My father's name was Henry. She talked about you a lot, by the way. About your conversations. I think she needed your company. What was she like? You know, like, in person? Hmm. <laughs> well... And I, I realize everybody probably says this after they're gone, but... She was the kindest, most wonderful person you'd ever hope to meet. <laughs> she had this laugh that would shake the room, rattle the windows. She told jokes she probably shouldn't have, but never remembered the ones you told her. <laughs> yeah. She cheated at cards. Never lost a game. <laughs> she made friends. And lost friends. She loved Henry. And me and Abby. <laughs> she loved show tunes. <laughs> and ham radios. Me too. Mom always had this way of being there when you really needed her. She was never too busy for the little things. She loved the little things. She lived every day like it was her last chance to make someone happy. To bring people together. Thank you. 